when Craig Lowndes teamed up with Jamie Wincup to win the great race. Now, Lowndes not only won it for his teammate, himself, his manufacturer, but also his mate and his mentor, Peter Brock. They are images we will never forget. And 12 months on, the memories are still very raw. It gives you goosebumps knowing what you've achieved. And, and for me, 10 years from the first to now, or to then, um, you know, it, it was a long time between drinks, really, for me. And, and then, but to do it under a, a special circumstance and, and to know what we'd achieved, not only just win Bathurst, which is everyone wants to win, but to win it under the circumstances, to go through that roller coaster of, of why we were there, the memories of there and, and the person, and, and to just go through that personal, I guess, um, journey, and, and that, that was quite special. Coming to Sunday, uh, you know, that's where it really hit me, I suppose, in a sense of emotions. Firstly, you're seeing them out, driving the car, prepping the car, getting it ready, setting it up. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please pause with me for a few moments of silence in tribute to the man, Peter Brock. And then to go into Sunday where, you know, you had the whole Brock family there. You had you know, a minute of silence, which was, it's, it was an eerie feeling. hundred plus people, Mountain Strait, Conrad Strait, everywhere around the place, and you could hear a pin drop. Like everyone showed respect. All the people come out of the uh, pit garages. Everyone down pit lane was was lined up. We were on pit straight with all the cars, and then uh, you know to have that minute of silence was, was one of those things you just. It's a moment in your life you'll never forget, and it's just a, it was a great feeling, but it was a very sad moment because obviously we knew what we were there for. To drive the Tirana, which you know, it, again, you know, Ford gave me permission to do that. And it didn't matter whether you're, you know, a Holden or a Ford fan, you know, Toyota, Nissan, wherever you come from, everyone had respect for a person and a personality that gave us so much uh, enjoyment watching him do so much great things with his craft. You know, for me, that was probably the most emotional I've ever been here before and during a race. Then getting from that situation to the car and then driving the, the race of your life, really. We wanted to show our respect by winning the race and holding the trophy up at the end of the day. Here we go, the rev drive. It's time to say farewell to Peter in the way that he would have wanted. Let's go racing on the mountain. And look at Lowndes, forceful on the inside. He wants Richard's spot, he won't get it. Campbell Little told Lowndes to apply the pressure he has. He's done a Rick Kelly move. It's not a circuit you can conquer in a sense of, you know, be comfortable and, and just, just roll out the laps straight up one after another. You know, you've got to work into it. You've got to be comfortable with the car. The car's not working right across the top of the mountain. You're not going to do a good job. On lap 22, Lowndes is four and a half seconds in the lead. At the end of the day, it all comes back to you. Um, but, yeah, I, I spoke to myself. I spoke to Peter as he was there. Here's the man in hot pursuit. It was actually good for me because of having that battle with, with Rick. These two guys are putting extreme pressure on each other. Kept my mind on the job. It was, wasn't something, you know, we had an eight second lead, which we had at one point, had a safety car, bunched it all back. But to have that battle, because I knew across the top of the mountain where our car was stronger than his, we had to pull that car length, you know, and then he closed it up coming down Conrad again, then we seesawed. They're trading punches in first and second. And I knew to a point where we got to the last turn, and we went around it, and I knew it didn't matter what end you could have seized, I would have clutched it, and we would have rolled across the line. You think about the massive fluctuations in emotion for Craig Lowndes today. Once I knew I had it won, that's when it was, you know, for me, it sunk in. Kelly makes a valiant effort, but he won't have it. It won't be enough. This weekend has been all about farewelling the great man. The sunlight was just glaring down the pit straight and, and see the guys go over the crest and we sort of slowly move to the left and there's just everyone up on, on pit walls. And you get that feeling you've, you've accomplished something. Lowndes has done it on the day he farewelled his friend. I think there's a lot of things that went on during that race where you knew you had a touch of Brock in. It's just 
different things that had happened during the race for me and not knowing those last six laps what was going on in the garage but now seeing having looking back on, on the footage and seeing you know Bev and the Brock family in the garage and, and basically having um, almost for him that 10th victory like you know just winning that race was pretty special.